I see women every day for recurrent urinary tract infections. It is one of the most common reasons that women seek medical care and it increases after perimenopause. So if you have recurrent urinary tract infections, what is a urologist going to tell you and what is a urologist going to check for? I'm Dr. Casperson. I'm a board certified urologist up in Bellingham, Washington, and I see hundreds of women every single year with recurrent UTI. After you watch this video, you should understand my standard workup for urinary tract infection, counseling, and prescribed treatments that are commonly used for recurrent urinary tract infection. A recurrent urinary tract infection is defined as three culture proven urinary tract infections within one year or two within six months. And this is very important. Your urine, when you go in to get checked for an infection, should have been sent for a urine culture. If your urine cultures consistently come up negative or no growth, start thinking that there's something going on that a bug isn't causing and stop treating yourself with unnecessary antibiotics. Lots of women when they go into a doctor, either urgent care, emergency room, or primary care, and they say that it hurts or it burns, they're going to be given a course of antibiotics. Make sure your urine is sent for a urine culture to confirm that this is truly a bacterial infection and you're not just treating other concerns that are common among women, such as vulvovaginal atrophy, genital urinary symptoms of menopause, overactive bladder, or a skin condition. Don't treat those with antibiotics. Antibiotics only will increase your risk of recurrent urinary tract infections because it kills all your normal protective bugs, such as lactobacillus. So first things first, I always make sure they're truly culture proven bacterial infections being treated appropriately with antibiotics. Because there are many, many reasons that a woman would see a urologist for other symptoms where the treatment is not antibiotic. Okay, so first things first, we've decided that this is truly bacterial urinary tract infections. So you come and see me, we're gonna make sure you're urinating a normal amount. Normal amount during the day is six to eight times a day. So if you are not urinating that much, it likely means you're dehydrated or you're holding your urine. So first of all, increase your frequency of urination. Number two, increase your water intake. Water is the best because it has no calories and it's inexpensive. The recommendation is at least a liter of water a day. There was just a study done showing, comparing two groups of women with recurrent urinary tract infections, and one did a 1.5 liters of water a day and the other had no treatment. They decreased their risk of recurrent UTIs by 50% just by drinking more water and therefore urinating more. So we always say dilution is the solution to pollution. So toileting, hydration, making sure your bowel movements are regular uh, because constipation increases the risk of bugs because old stool is dirty stool. Bugs from the stool can enter our bladder and cause a urinary tract infection. So proper treatment of constipation also decreases your risk for recurrent UTIs. Okay, so what tests do a urologist order? I usually get a renal bladder ultrasound to make sure your bladder empties all the way and there's no stones or blockages of the kidneys. It's always reassuring to know that the anatomy is normal. When the anatomy is normal, then we fix behavioral modification and then also work on things like vaginal health and hormones. Very rarely is a cystoscopy indicated as a first-line workup for recurrent urinary tract infections. I'll do a cystoscopy if a woman is urinating blood, has a history of vaginal surgery or mesh slings, because I want to make sure that anatomy is normal and there isn't any foreign bodies in there. But my average woman seen for a urinary tract infection, I do not do a cystoscopy on. So we do our renal bladder ultrasound. We're reassured that our anatomy is normal. Standard course is to put all women perimenopausal and over on low dose vaginal estrogen. See my other video for how I dose vaginal estrogen and the importance on that. But very briefly, vaginal estrogen rebuilds your lactobacillus, which die off after menopause and die off after you've been treated with antibiotics. And it also changes the pH where E. coli and pathogenic bugs don't like that pH. So it restores the normal vaginal pH that women had prior to losing their estrogen in menopause. The other thing we use is we use cranberry pills. I like pills instead of juice because juice has a lot of calories and we believe that it's the compounds that are in the skins of the cranberries that actually is what is effective. So I use a high, uh, a high quality uh, pill, either Allura or Theracran. You can get those on the internet or on Amazon. We're drinking a good amount of water. We're urinating regularly. We are treating our vulva and, and vagina with topical estrogen two to three times a week. We're using a high uh, quality cranberry product. Also, other supplements to use are D-mannose, which again can be found at a health food store on Amazon. It prevents the bugs from sticking to the lining of the bladder. So that is my standard cocktail uh, for preventing urinary tract infections. So I tell women, I can never make anybody never get a urinary tract infection again, but we can change your risk factors 
improve your vulvar and vaginal tissue, which is the main risk factor for urinary tract infections, and hope that we can decrease this and get urinary tract infections to be a thing of your past. So if you like this video, please share it with any woman you might know who has recurrent urinary tract infections. Uh, come see me in my clinic. Now you can feel more comfortable knowing what a urologist is going to talk about when you go visit one for your recurrent UTIs. Thanks for watching.